with another message for you so today well this is really the night it's pretty quiet right you guys we're gonna be taking a look into the full moon energy i don't know why i just shuffled that but the card that was under here was um look at the bigger picture full moon in sagittarius and it actually had the pink moon on the picture okay i don't know it might pop out but um, this is just going to be a pop-up video for the full moon okay it's time to take action full new moon in aries so you could be aries watching this and then it says the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini okay so we are in gemini season still and it says believe in the impossible blue moon 101 on this clock so you can be um an aries or a gemini looking at this video okay also i want you to take time to breathe out and communication is key so you could be a gemini watching this video as well or virgo okay that's what i see So Aries and Gemini, this message must be for you. Okay, Wolf Moon, Orc Magic, the Akashic Libraries. So it looks like somebody could be doing some magic on your Akashic Records. Okay, somebody that's in a hedgehog love type of situation, dealing with a beautiful little worm. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's in some type of sadness so um maybe you're dealing with a water sign if you are aries or a gemini okay this full moon some answers are going to be coming and the akashic libraries are open for you okay somebody also could be tapping into your akashic records too okay 222 on his clock most high says be courageous during this time yeah and this is the moon cycles so for some of you somebody has been tapping into your akashic libraries during the moon cycles okay because you are a counselor yes and they want your energy your grace that's what i'm hearing all right so Something is coming to a close, a 10, an end. And something is also a surprise. I'm seeing a lot of blue here. This is giving me throat chakra energy. Yeah, somebody's in despair. It's a masculine when it comes to a young woman and another woman. Because they're in a love triangle affair. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some conversations being had in rooms. When it comes to a foe that's wishing death on you. Okay, so. If you have a platform or if you are communicated, this is uh, what somebody is wishing for you. Okay, if not, you could just be talking about what you're going through. Some hedgehog love, needing some spiritual upliftment and new friends or whatnot. And, um this person right here is wishing you death this foe okay just so you know that so we're going to clarify that what's going on with this foe okay this person that knows that somebody was married uh oh here we go look at this person is messy this person is messy by the way okay i don't know something else yeah, they want to cause destruction, y'all. They do. They want to cause destruction by trying to make you feel like you don't have a gift or you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, this friend. That's in a third-party situation when it comes to you. Okay, you could be divine feminine. That's what the, that's what the surprise is. Okay, somebody is also sick. All right, they was trying to get you sick. I feel like they also know that somebody's a thief and they doing some type of magic on that. Okay, praying that somebody doesn't get caught. Yeah, this masculine. 
but this masculine is going to get caught because they spirit your I'm hearing your spirit guides who is watching this video is going to reveal something yeah a messenger so you're going to get a letter or somebody's going to get a letter mm -hmm. yeah because you was you're a counselor so somebody could know that you could help them in a situation so they might message you and ask you for some help this full moon or this person might just Try to keep on doing magic on you. That's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, look. Old woman. Because mm -hmm. they know that you're intuitive already. That's what I'm hearing here. All right. So what we're going to do now is... Oh, these cards came out early, but I'm not going to take them. These ca cards came out before I started this video. Paradigm shift. Okay, so you're having a paradigm shift. Take the first step. And they saw the call but busy right now so somebody could you could not be in contact with right now okay what keep falling y'all what was that something else just fell on the floor my daughter went outside and this was at the front door a little black feather like this i said what in the world where did that come from that was kind of weird that happened today so um any messages okay Came out again, guys. Peace, love, and light. That's what you on. That's the energy you vibrating on. Infinity family. Look, paradigm shift. So you are having a paradigm shift, okay? Somebody is unbalanced and unrealistic. A Libra. Okay, life partner. This is somebody's life partner. What's I said? Yeah, they met, they match. Okay, look at this. Scorpionic energy. Death transformation. See, somebody was wishing death on you. 7-11 on this clock. All right, so we want to find out what's going on with all of these cards. If this is resonating with you, stick around for the tarot. If not, go check out some of my other videos and check out my other channel, T Infinity. Okay? If this was resonating with you, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and subscribe. <laughs> All right. So you taking a leap of faith. Somebody is still in this play of energy, okay? Wanting to still be non-committal. Yeah. In this new cycle. Okay, somebody could also be going through the dark night of the soul. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, a Gemini, a Leo, maybe an Aquarius, Scorpio. All right, but yeah, somebody made a hasty decision, I feel like, and that's why this hedgehog love is here, because this is the end, because of this hasty decision that was being made, okay, so somebody is definitely taking action on this decision, and wanting answers and communication, that's what I'm seeing here, so most high, why did you show us it's time to take action? It's time to take action. You could be an airy sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Okay, that's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, you're getting justice in a situation. Dealing with maybe a Libra. Maybe, yeah, you could be dealing with a Libra. Or this is somebody you married to. Yeah, that has you waiting in a marriage. Or have you waiting for some type of... Um, they have you waiting. For answer. Yeah, they have you waiting for some type of answer. Mm-hmm. This full moon. 9-11 on the clock. This could be a Virgo. That's what I'm hearing here. King of Wands. This is Aries energy. You could be an Aries. This person knows that you're waiting on an answer from them. But they're keeping you stuck by not answering you, by not talking to you. Because remember, I just showed you that card. They busy right now. They saw your call, but they busy right now. Yeah, that's what this person is doing. Because they are very childish when it comes to their emotions. They don't really know how to communicate. That's what I'm hearing here. So this person just basically like hide their emotions this person hides the way that they really feel when it comes to you Aries but you're gonna get justice yeah okay because I feel like you're not cheating on this person but this person thought that you was so they cheated on you 
but you really have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Yeah. And you being protected from this person now, too. Yeah, because the Ten on this clock, you victorious and successful. And like I said, this shit is coming to an end. Number ten, look, karma, judgment. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, because you have good news coming in. This person from your past sees that. So they're trying to, you know, basically go with them to find themselves because they're still brokenhearted on some low vibrational energy. Okay, so that's what most high is telling you. It's time to take action. All right. So what are, what are these, the answers you need are coming? Why did you show? Why did you show us this most high for the full moon? Okay, because you cut somebody off or somebody, a Gemini cut off a Pisces Cancer Scorpio, okay? I feel like this Gemini, because this, this could be a Gemini because this says Gemini here, but this doesn't have to be. It could be a Libra too because Libra is here too, okay? But this person cut off this water sign here because I feel like this is the people that was in the third party situation. Yeah, because they left them out in the cold, five of pentacles. You see these two? Yeah. This was the air sign and the water sign. Mm hmm That they left out in the cold now. Mm. Why they left out in the cold now? Okay. Because they was doing some type of sex magic. They was doing some type of sex magic. And now somebody's disappointed. Because whoever they were trying to do sex magic on is abundant and protected. Yeah, this high priestess. So now they're getting karma, the tower, while this person gets a, the will of fortune and a new opportunity and love. 12, 12 on this clock. See, because they was. They was doing magic on either the queen of pentacles or a Leo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now this person is getting their wishes fulfilled. And that's why the answers you need are coming soon, Gemini. I just saw one, two, three, four on the clock. So you could have been seeing one, two, three, four. That's confirmation. The answers you need are coming soon about this third party love triangle. Or Orca magic. Why did you show us this Orca magic, most high? Mm-hmm, because this is a scorpionic energy. Somebody was doing death magic on somebody. Mm-hmm, somebody that they want to hold on to or somebody that they person is holding on to that they want them to let go of so they can have them all to themselves. That's what I'm hearing here. Yes, and this person, it could have been a water sign, a Scorpio. They walked away from this person because this person just constantly has been waiting three of wands. Constantly, this could be also, um, yeah, some because somebody's married, because somebody is married, yeah, but they separated, okay, 1333. But this person is still stuck with this person at the end of the day, and I feel like that's why somebody's tapping in to somebody's Akashic Records and doing some type of magic. Mm -hmm. Come this full moon, it says. I will watch over you. So if people are tapping into your energy, just know your ancestors are watching their every move. Okay? Wolf moon. Wolf moon. Most I said, and that's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Okay? Your ancestors is watching over you. So most high, why you show us this hedgehog love? Why you show us this hedgehog love right here? Who is in love? And who, who is in love that's coming to an end? Somebody that's getting karma. Okay? Could be a Gemini. Because I just saw a Gemini when this card came out last time. Okay? Yeah. Somebody's in the new cycle. 1444. What is this hedgehog about, Mosai? Yeah, somebody that's doing magic, a Gemini or a Virgo. Yeah, I showed you that before. They're getting a tower. All right, because this is coming to an end, like I said. 
and they broken hearted because you know you're getting the message. Page of Wands, Three of Swords, Ace of Swords. Okay, yeah, clarity. Again, clarity that this hedgehog love is coming to an end because they did magic on you. Okay, yeah, and all you do is uplift and be positive. Okay, that's what I'm hearing here. So, most how why you show us this moon cycles? Why you show us this moon cycles here? It says, Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Okay, so somebody is doing some type of moon magic. Okay, because they capitalizing on this energy to send towards you, and you capitalizing on this energy to. Mm -hmm. to a wand because you hold in the world in the palm of your hand and you making good decisions and they're not okay they're in the five of pentacles for doing magic on you okay yeah this person from your past and they karmics too that's what i'm hearing here who is in poverty most high for this yeah some masculine here okay that didn't invest in you but sees your investments manifesting too Nine of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. This person that this is the person that abandoned you. That's what I'm hearing here. This person tried to do moon magic on you too, but they it shit backfired. Now they're in poverty, and you're the Nine of Pentacles. And that's why I said that's the truth. King of Swords. They're seeing it too. Yeah, they're seeing it because you're protected in this new cycle. The wheel card. The wheel has turned in your favor. Okay. Now these people seeing this. This full moon. Mm -hmm. Look, Wheel of Fortune came out. And they're getting karma for the magic, the sex magic that they do. Mm -hmm. Something could take place in Leo season. I keep seeing that with this person from your past. You could be getting a divorce from this masculine. Okay. In August, for some of you, if you're married. Why did you show us courage? Why'd you show us courage for this pop-up video for the full moon? Most I want you to have courage and there's no cycle. The world card here, because you're going around the world after this person hurt and abused you. Ten of swords. All right? This person acted like they love you, but they held back their feelings from you. This person also could have manipulated you, saying that they were going to do something for you just to keep you bound to their toxicity because they were obsessed with you. Okay? But you know that this person walked away from you, and that was the best thing that they could have did. Because now after you cut them off, Queen of Swords, you have the Ten of Cups. And that's why they trying to keep you stuck in the situation when it comes to a separation, okay? For others of you, this person knows that you're moving on to bigger and better things. And this person knows that you're on your life purpose and you're very courageous. And they want to keep you small so they can try to control you, okay? So why you show us old women here? Why you show us old women most high? Because this person knows that you celebrate and then you work hard, okay? You're very intuitive and they broke your heart. Yeah, this person knows that um, this third party situation with this lover was um, something that could never be mended with a twin flame. Yep, and that's why they stressed out down the swords to this day. Four of Wands, okay. The Sagittarius full moon, right? The Temperance card. Because they want to balance out the situation, the Emperor. But I feel like the situation has already come to an end. Because you know that this person is not genuine. That's what I'm hearing here. And your wishes is being fulfilled. Now they're feeling burdened. Because somebody else is fulfilling their destiny, their journey. Mm -hmm. When it comes to um, this relationship, this soulmate relationship. So, 
somebody was supposed to, this masculine was supposed to be in a twin flame soulmate relationship, but they decided to be in a karmic relationship. And now this person is very intuitive and it's a problem with this masculine because they're having misfortune. Okay? So, counselor. Why did you show us counselor? Most I say yes, because that's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You a counselor now, 2022, 2023. That's what I'm hearing here. So, Most High, why did you show us a beautiful little worm? It says, take care of yourself. So, Most I want you to take care of yourself, come this full moon. Yes, look. Because you're the high priestess. Like I said, the old woman, very intuitive. Okay, yes, this could be this message could be for divine feminine. You have a new opportunity when it comes to your finances. Mm -hmm. And this person wants to communicate with you because they're in confusion. So this person feels very regretful. This could this is his masculine. And most of saying take time to breathe out because communication is key. So why you say take time to breathe out when it comes to this cancer for some of you? Or a Gemini or Aries. Or you could be 21, 22 on this clock. Okay. Take time to breathe out divine feminine when it comes to this person. Okay. Because they want to get you out of your element and they want to get you out of your energy this full moon so you can feel like you're not good enough, but you are. Okay. Someone's I said, do not let your past hold you back. Surrender to the divine. Okay. Because nothing is yet set in stone and you're moving forward in good news. Okay, so take care of yourself and take time to breathe out. Don't let your past hold you back. All right, so before we get out of here, we're going to pull some angel answers. And I hope that this message resonated with you. If you'd like to book a person, my information will be in the description below. Happy Sagittarius full pink moon, strawberry moon <laughs> to all of you. Look, take action. That's the first card that came out, right? Time to take action. Take action. Yeah. Get it, get it popping, get it cracking. That's what I'm hearing. Abundance is yours, okay? And listen to your intuition in the near future. Yes. With the exclamation point. All right. And hold on. What was this? <gasps> no. With an exclamation point as well. So there you go. I'll see you in my next video.